What is Renata and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we are going to be doing a review of the new Natasha Denona Chico Loco palette. So I was really excited because this is just something that like she does not generally do. I'm not going to talk too much this intro because we are going to do individual eye swatches of all the shimmers as well as a few looks and comparison swatches and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that like button. I would really appreciate it and let's jump in. All right. I've not opened it even though I really want to. So this is the outer packaging. And I will say like, I have so many thoughts and opinions about this, but we're gonna like do it all because I know this is gonna take a long time to kind of get through. So here's the inside. I will say I personally like the, like the leather, like the faux leather palettes a little bit more. They just felt more expensive to me than this one like I always thought like the hard ones I was like okay that makes sense for like the little like the $65 ones because they're cheaper but when you're paying for like the premium expensive you know 120 plus dollar palette I kind of wish that she would go back to that because I just feel like that's just a nicer look for the palettes so it is I mean it is gorgeous like I'm looking at it and I didn't know how I was going to feel about it sometimes when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And then it's kind of like since, I mean, since it leaked and like time passed, I did kind of lose my luster for it, I guess. And then when she came out with promo pics, not to say they weren't great, but me personally, I'm always, I've always been really scared of like, I don't want circus makeup. And I just felt like she, even though it's like, oh, it's great and it's new for her, I still was a little bit like, I don't know about all these colors going together as one. like. Even when I'm looking at it, because she does do like the diagonals and then like a five pan palette almost together, I don't feel like I could look at this and say like, oh yeah, those are all going to go together. Like I will probably be reaching for other palettes. So, and it, yeah, it's a weird mix, but at the same time, I'm really excited how these look. So we're going to do individual eye swatches on just the like shimmers so we can get a good feel of those. And then we'll do a look together and then we'll do swatches because I am interested to see if like the purples and stuff, I do have the her, it's like the pink and purple palette. So we will be doing those. I'm most excited for the shade, I think like Snow Cone is gorgeous. Like this minty, I am so much of a fan of mint. So we're gonna go in with the lightest first just in case it stains my eyes. Um, so we're gonna take Aerialist and Snow Cone. I mean, I'm excited. I do feel like there's a difference in her quality with her bigger pans and smaller pan. Sometimes I don't feel like it's enough of a difference where I'm just like, it's worth it to me to have the $65 ones. Um, but everyone everyone kind of feels differently about it, I guess. So it is funny to me though, how everybody is always just like, they're so expensive. And I'm like, she's been this expensive for a long time. Like this is nothing new, you know? It's just, it is what it is. But, and that's a pretty shade. It's definitely not, I thought it was gonna be more of a mint color. It's definitely more on the blue side. So just so you guys know, these are gonna be rough swatches. Um, I do do my own lashes, and so I don't wanna like keep putting remover like really close to my lash line. So just for this part, just know I'm not bringing it all the way down. It's on purpose, because I ain't got time for that. And then let's try the Aerialist shade. But yeah, this is definitely more of an icy light blue than mint. And I don't have primer on or anything. Ooh, I like this one. In the pan, it looks very, almost like silver, but it's coming off as like a really pretty pastel-y purple on the eyes. So I'm, I'm happy with this. All right, so those are the first two shades. I'm also going to turn down the lighting for you guys so you guys can truly, truly see the color. And then we'll try out the next. All right, next two, we're gonna do a Spiral, which is this gorgeous orange. I'm really excited about that one. And then we're gonna do Grin, which is this one right here. So, but yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Like, to me, I'm so happy that it's something different. And then at the same time, I'm like, I still keep looking, I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a whole, I'm still, I'm still like, I don't know, I'm a little on the fence, but some of these I was really excited about where I don't feel like, you know, she's just not really known for like colorful palettes. And for a while there, I was like, how many bronze and golds can we have? So I'm happy that this one, I'm like, she got the one little like antique gold in there, but I feel like brands that are Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, I'm like, I'm tired of seeing 
golds. There's a lot of other colors we could go with here. This is so pretty and vibrant though. This one is definitely, I can tell it's not the metallic formula. It's definitely a different one. I wish they would say it on the palette. Um, you can just tell by the way it feels. It is a very intense orange. I do have to layer it a little bit. It's not like, like a powell type one, one shade, but gosh, it's, it's pretty. I think this is one of my favorite shades in the palette for sure. Um, and then let's go in with Grin. At least this is, I mean, it's gold-ish, but it's more of like a yellow tone. Yeah, I didn't buy her Trial Chrome palette. I just felt like that was like not worth it for the price point. Just for me personally, I was I just expected there to be more of the actual Trial Chrome shades in there. So this is what the next two look like. Like I said, this is definitely more of like a greeny, yellow gold um and then this orange is just great it doesn't have as much shimmer but it's still like i really love the orange so let me turn this down it's definitely like a cheeto cheeto color all right we're gonna go with the two center which is flip and cinnamon can't i don't know how i read cinnamon it's canon i don't know how i got those i swear my brain is just going downhill as i get older i don't know what's happening but this color, I think, oh, this one's really pretty. I really, really like this color a lot. It's like that perfect teal, tealy blue. I want an office chair this color. Like I've, I've been looking at desks. I mean, I'm like stimulus. Half is gonna go into savings and then half I'm just like, I need a work desk. Like I have the worst habit of sitting on the couch and working on my laptop. And I'm just like, I need, a desk space. I think I'd be so much better, but I'm like, I want a pretty one. I don't want an ugly desk. And I'm like, Ooh, I could do like a teal or blue chair. I don't know why that was in my head, but it is. Except for I trust none of these companies that are like, let's pay $200 for shipping. Crate and barrel, all these places, that everyone's pottery barn. I'm like furniture for like the shipping costs. I'm just like, that's half as much as stupid desk. So if you have recommendations, I would love to hear them. I don't know about this Canon color. I don't think that's gonna be a favorite. Just, just, okay. All right, lies, lies. It's, what I'm getting from this right now is like, a lot of these are actually really, really pretty, but I do think it's gonna be more of a palette where you're gonna use it with, you're gonna reach for it, or at least for me, I will probably do a look with other palettes and then reach for my pop of color from this which is good and bad. Everyone has different opinions. I'm sure the majority of people are more on the side of why would you spend that much money on a palette that you're not gonna get a full look out of most of the time. And it just, it, like I said, for people like me who loves Natasha Denona, I would say I'm, I've gotten much better. I really haven't bought that much from her in the past year and a half. Um, but for me, these are definitely unique to my collection with her. I've stopped buying a lot of the releases that are very similar. So I actually really like this shade. It's like a burnt, burnt orange type of shade. So let me turn that down. I think these two are definitely, these are gorgeous. All right, I got three left. So what I'm gonna kind of do is like split one eye um, just cause the blues are very hard to get off. Like the blue definitely is the one that's like gonna stain my eyeball. So we have this gorgeous color left razzle dazzle and then electric and act. So. Well, I guess it's more of a purple. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do Razzle Dazzle. I think this is gonna be really pretty as well. Yeah, it's really pretty, very vibrant, like purpley color. And then we're gonna go in with Electric. Uh, you guys know this, I'm not a huge fan of like darker blues. It's just never been my favorite. Blues and silvers are just never my my thing. These, like this, I now feel like a clown for sure. But I wanna be able to do an eye look without it looking insane and like stained. So I will say though, I really like that combination of like, you know, obviously picture it looking better on my eyes, um, like actually on my whole eyelid. But I really like these two colors together. So yeah, and this one, 
all these three, these three I feel like group together very well. They're like that jewel toned type group. So I'm going to take this off and we can do a look together. All right. So we're not going to swatch them on the eyes, but I do want to swatch the, just a few of the mattes just to see what we're working with here because you really only have a few. And my thing is like, I could so see myself just wanting to do like firework and then the orange color and call it a day or like this color with the razzle dazzle, like very like two toned and that's it because I still think they'd be like gorgeous looks. Um, but it's very like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, how am I going to deepen up? Like you have Acrobat, which is this mat right here. Um, and then this magic color is just not my, I don't, I don't like, so would you call it indigo type color? Um, I don't love those. So this is what we were working with in terms of the pastels. And I will say they are very pretty, but it's also very hard to create like a lot of dimension with pastel colors, you know? So I think I'm going to start with the minty green, even though this pink is actually very, very nice. So, um, I forgot that that was even in there, but I think that's the direction I'm going to go in. So I'm not really sure where else to go and just know like pastels are definitely a little messy. They're, they're definitely a little like, I'm not someone who really complains about fallout a lot, but just know that they, they're, 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 they're not the cleanest looking. So we're going to grab fun, fun to mine, this one. And I did prime my lids. So not a bad payoff though for like all already off the bat for a pastel like usually especially like if you're not on the like palest skin tone type side like it usually takes quite a bit of building up and i always have problems with like i love pastel shades and then at the same time i'm always just like i don't i stay away from them because i'm usually just like i'm not sitting here for an hour who has time for that I think what it was is I let somebody do my makeup when I was like 13, 14, and they did a blue look on me and it looked very clown-like and I didn't feel like myself and I couldn't hurt her feelings and be like, I hate it. So I still felt like I had to go out and we were like going to a concert and stuff. I was so excited. And then since then, I've never liked blue again, like on myself. So mint greens for some reason, totally fine with, but everything else, I'm just like, no, I'm good. All right, so we're gonna go in with Acrobat next, which is that darker, like, tealy shade, just because I need something to deepen this up. Yeah, what are, what are you guys' thoughts on this? I'm still, I really like them individual colors. I don't know if I'm gonna like this as a whole. Like I said, I think I'll be reaching for other things to, like, go with it, because I'm like, I don't know. Or like I said, just, like, do two colors and be done. And I'm just packing this on the outer corner and then bringing it in. Also, Natasha Denona, I feel like she always uses models with the most gorgeous, like, big eyelids. Like, you know when they close their eyes and you can see their whole eyeball and you're just like, like, it just like kind of pops out for you. And I'm like, any eye look looks good on people like that. Not so much on everybody else. <laughs> or at least that's how I feel. I'm gonna go back in with the blue pastel and just kind of blend that, blend that out. All right, we're going to go in with Flip, which is the teal shade. So I'm just going to use my finger. What a pretty color. That's a pretty, pretty color. And then I'm going to grab the Snow Cone shade, which is the like light, light ice blue shade. All right, and then for that inner corner, we're going to grab a little bit of Aerialist, which is like that lavender. I'm really happy it smells of Silva. My gosh, you guys, I feel like every movie, does anyone else feel like this? They've all been bad. I'm like, when is a good movie going to come out? Like we watched Cherry with Tom Holland. It's like two and a half hours, like an hour and a half in. I was just like, Nick, when is this going to be over? I did not like that movie at all. And then we watched the one with like, Denzel Washington. I love Denzel Washington. But same type of thing. I'm like, are we just bored? Like, what's wrong with us? But my gosh, I'm just like, Raya was been my favorite. The little kids movie. Like, I'm just like, this is all I needed right now. That's really pretty as an inner corner color. So I think this eye I'm going to do 
I'm gonna play with the oranges because I just want to. Um, I don't think I'm gonna stick with this for the rest of the day, but it is prettier than I thought. Like I am liking it more than I thought I would. And like, even though I'm not, you know, I obviously don't have my face done and stuff. Like I could see this with the full face of makeup actually looking really pretty. Um, it's just not my personal, like we're going out to dinner and I have to go work out. So I'm like, this is a little, little too much for that, you know? So for this side, I'm gonna take Firework, which is this shade here, and we're just gonna blend that everywhere. So far, I'm not having any issues with the formula. I will say the only thing is the bluer shades. Like I said, like these are definitely messy. Like you can definitely see like the orange is falling down. Those are kind of where I don't like the fallout, where I'm just like, it's it's falling into the other shades. Um, is the only time where I feel like it's, it gets a little messy in terms of like on my nerves. Um, but the only issue that I'm having, like everything is, is working out really, really well. Um, the darker blues, like the darker blue and like purple colors, those aren't as shimmery as the lighter ones. So just know like they're, they're a little different in the fact that they're, they still pack a punch, but the shimmer isn't as vibrant. All right. So I'm, I'm loving this, this color. Like for some reason, I just feel way more comfortable with this. And I feel like I love the way it looks in my eyes compared to the blue. Um, but I'm going to grab spiral, which is the other orangey one. And like normally like, yeah, I'd probably go in with like a deep brown, um, or something to deepen up my crease. But since we don't have that in here, I don't want to reach for another palette today, but I probably would, would be doing that. How do you guys feel though? I used to like her, I'm not a huge fan of her creamed powder. I used to really love her just like plain, plain mattes. I think that's just personal preference, but for me, I enjoyed those more. I feel like I have just more, they still blend beautifully, but they're a little harder to work with. Like I find that the darker shades of creamed powder are, tend to be a little bit more patchy, if you will, than like her, her older formula. Maybe that's just because I'm getting old and everything to me. I'm like, the old days just sound great. Like everything that used to work better. Um, I don't like anything new. So like, even if I go to a restaurant and I'm like, you change the menu, like we can have problems. Okay. I'm not a seasonal eater. I came here for a purpose. All right. And then I'm just going to connect this same exact, just using that same exact shade, the firework and just blending all over. I will probably reach for a highlight to do my inner corner with this shade. I don't really want to do the lavender. I just, I, I don't really like that combination, I feel like. So this is what we're gonna do. And we're meeting next family tonight, which is like, I can look a little crazy with mine. I can look crazy with his too. I mean, they've definitely seen it, but I'm just, you know, I'm like, we're gonna tone it down just a little. So I'm, I'm way more comfortable in this and I feel like it looks so pretty just the way it is and so simple. So I'm gonna go put on foundation I will be taking this eye off, um, but it is pretty, you know what I mean? So if you're into like these looks, like it, it's not like I'm saying I hate the look. I just, it's just not appropriate for where I'm going, you know, but the way that it all looks together, I do think it's a gorgeous like combination of all the blues for sure. And those pastels are very impressive compared to most pastels I've tried. Okay. So now we have the finished look. I really like how this like came out it, again, very simple, but I still feel like it looks like a trying hard, you know? So I really, really like this look. I feel like it's definitely like summer color type makeup. Um, I did want to go ahead and show you guys just some similarities. Like, so on the bottom we have the Lila palette. So those are those swatch right here. And then this is the new, new palette. This Chico Loco. So um, you guys can kind of see like they are similar tones. Like that's three of the shades where I feel like you can kind of fam like they're in the same family sh for sure. So just in case you do have this and those were the colors you were looking at, um, just know that they are, there are a few similarities between the two. I wouldn't say they're exact matches, but would you be able to tell the difference in the eyes? I'm not, not so much. All right. So overall thoughts though, like I, I have quite a few. I overall, I really do like this. I mean, I think this is definitely, it's so nice to see a difference from her compared to her usual palettes. Um, my only thing is just like, it's it's definitely one where I don't think it's for everyone. 
like you have to be okay with the fact that you're probably gonna have to reach for more palettes to work with it. And like some people can make this work for them. You know, I'm not one of them. I'm just gonna say it right now. Like for me, even if it could turn out well and like look fine, like the, it's just not my color story preference to have it like as a as a eyeshadow story on my self. Um, not to say I'm not gonna play around with it more to figure it out, but when I look at this, it's kind of like I want to use one or two colors. I don't necessarily want to use like five or four for a whole look. So I'm fine with reaching for another palette because formula wise, I have no complaints. Um, the only thing that I had an issue with was more so like, like I said, the fallout is, there's quite a bit of fallout with the, with the matte shades. So just know that. And like I said, like it's not someone who's like very picky about fallout. I didn't really have it on my face. It was just like, they're like falling down into the other shades of the palette. So um, know that, but the pastels are, are gorgeous payoff. I love the colors as individuals in this palette and that's, that's the main thing. Um, but yes, you are paying $129 and it's like, do you, are you okay with that being in a company palette or do you wanna, you know, it just kind of depends on you. Like, so I, overall formula wise, I really like color story wise as, as a whole, not so much, but I'm okay with that. So it just kind of depends on what you're okay with in terms of what you would want to do. Like I definitely would not like say like, this is the most beginner friendly palette. Like, like I said, even for me, I'm just like, mm, I don't like this as a color story together, but I'm okay with it because I'm just like, but as solos, they are gorgeous. And I have so many palettes by now that I'm okay with that. So for me, I liked everything in this. I didn't love this shade. I'm just not a fan of like bluey purple shades. I don't know why, that's just a personal preference to me. Um, and then like part of me thought like, oh, there should be a black in here or there should be a white just so you can blend out those, those colors <clears throat> as opposed to like pastels with the shimmers. But at the same time, I'm like, I have plenty of mattes I can reach for in other palettes that are neutrals. So again, I'm not mad at it, but this is definitely like a, I would never put this in a bag and travel with it. Not to say we're traveling anywhere. When I say that, I meant like traveling from here to my bathroom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely not a one and done palette. For me, it's, it's just gonna be an accompanying palette. So it's kind of up to you. I mean, I still think it's gorgeous. I don't regret, regret it at all. Again, the packaging isn't my favorite. I prefer, the leather packaging. I just think it looks for the price point. This looks higher end to me than, than the plasticky ones. Maybe I'm alone in that. I don't know. Um, but I hope she does more, more looks with just more, I don't want to say wearable cause it's not even wearable, but you know what I'm saying? Like the, all the looks she did, I'm like, oh, that looks great for like a runway, but like, that's just not what I'm going to do here. So I don't know who I think I am doing something like that, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I kind of want to do a look just for fun like kind of like hers where it's just a crazy over the top, like where maybe a little collar thing, you know, type look, but definitely let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Did you guys get it? Are you going to get it? Don't forget like this four VAB sale is coming up. So I mean, maybe just save, uh, even just to save a little bit off the $129 trice bag, like Natasha Nona, she does have sales. So I would kind of wait it out a little bit just cause it says it's limited. I've never seen anything of Natasha Nona that's limited not be around for at least a year. So take your time with it if you're still thinking about it and, and kind of see. But formula wise, there's a lot of beautiful colors in there. And I think I would do a lot of looks just like this where it's just like two colors blown out. And it just kind of depends if that's your style or not. So those are my thoughts and opinions on the new Natasha Nona Chirko Loco palette. Uh, please hit that like button, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it, it helps me out a lot here and comment down below what your thoughts are. Bye guys.